Hi, this is Tony. Are you the proud new owner of a Caucasian mountain dog or a Caucasian mountain dog puppy? They're wonderful dogs, aren't they? Great to have around. Great with kids. But when you initially get your new dog, you may have some training issues. You're not expected to come to this situation knowing how to train a dog, so you're going to need some help and some resources. That's where this website comes in where you can get a free mini course that will give you all the information you need to get your Caucasian Mountain Dog trained properly. It's essential for dog parents like you to know certain basic factors that determine your relationship with your dog and can go a long way in training him effectively. Before you begin training your dog, it is absolutely essential that you build a loving bond with him. This is important as it helps you to understand his needs and instincts and also allows your dog to have complete trust in you. Let's see how. Building a bond with your dog is the first and the most crucial step involved in training him successfully. As soon as you bring your dog home, you must first try to develop a caring and loving relationship with him in order to win his trust and confidence. When dogs are secure in the knowledge that they belong to the family, they are more likely to respond better to their owner's training commands. Just like with any relationship, there must be mutual trust and respect between you and your dog. Trust takes time to develop, and respect comes from defining boundaries and treating any breach of these boundaries with firmness and fairness. Without enforceable limitations, respect can't be developed. And when there is no respect, building a bond with your dog is almost impossible. Four golden rules to building a relationship with your dog are spend quality time together, take him out in the world and experience life together, establish and promote a level of mutual respect, and develop a way of communicating to understand each other's needs. Building a bond with your dog will not only help you manage him better, but will also make your dog calm, quiet, and an extremely well-adjusted pet. Love your dog and he will love you back. Once you're successful in building a bond with your dog, you can rest assured that training him and teaching him new and clever tricks will be a cakewalk. Your dog's learning period can be divided into five phases. The first phase is the teaching phase. This is the phase where you must physically demonstrate to your dog exactly what you want him to do. Two is the practicing phase. Practice makes perfect. Once a lesson is learned, practice with your dog what you have just taught him. Three is the generalizing phase. Here you must continue practicing with your dog in different locations and in an environment with a few distractions. You can take your dog out for a walk or to a nearby park and command him to practice whatever you've taught him. Practicing the learned lessons in multiple locations and in the presence of small distractions will help him learn and retain lessons better. Four is the testing phase. Once you're sure that your dog has achieved almost 90% success, he responds correctly almost every time you give him a command, you must start testing his accuracy in newer locations with a lot of distractions. For example, take him to the local shopping mall and ask him to obey your command. He may not come up with the correct response the very first time you do this, but you must not lose hope. The idea is to test your dog to see how he responds in an environment which is new to him. Set up a situation where you are in control of the environment and your dog. There are, two, there are only two possibilities. Your dog succeeds or your dog fails. In the case he does fail, re-examine the situation, review and or change your training. Then try testing again. Keep on testing until he succeeds. Follow the rule of the three P's, patience, persistence, and praise. Number five is the internalizing phase. Finally comes the extremely rewarding phase where your dog does everything he is taught to even without your commands. Remember, never scold your dog if he fails. It's not his fault. You have failed as a trainer. You must be patient and persistent for your efforts to show rewards. Appreciate and love your dog when he does it right. A little encouragement works wonders for your dog. Dog training is easy when you do it right. Now what I'd like for you to do is to come to this website. I'm going to leave a link below the video. You're going to scroll down. You're going to enter your name, your dog's name, and your email address. Click subscribe. 
and they will send you that free mini course with tips and tricks and strategies and all the information you're going to need to train your new dog. This has been Tony. I want to thank you for listening today.